Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for July 2nd, 2021. Well, yesterday, those bulls re-engaged and just continued to push um, S&P 500, making its 35th record high so far this year. And they show no signs of stopping at the moment. However, today we have a little bit of a hiccup that could create some volatility first thing in the morning. So how about we settle into our office chairs? Let's buckle up and get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So good morning once again, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at what we have going here today and see if we can gain some information by looking at these charts. First off, let's note that um, yesterday we had a nice bullish move in the market. And that bullish move in the Dow really started to change some of the technicals here of the chart. Notice right in here, we broke that downtrend in the chart. However, we still have a significant level of price resistance that we need to deal with up here. So we'll wanna keep an eye on that as we continue to press and push to the upside. Holding that 50 day moving average right here on that bullish candle was a good sign. And um, all four indexes um, are now <clears throat> showing lots of technical improvement. Um, overall. So keep a close eye on that. Now we also have a little bit of a resistance area um, that could form. And let me show you if I draw this trend right across here and then put that resistance line in right there. And then realizing that we just barely broke out of the downtrend here, we still have a pretty substantial level of price resistance right in here. And that's gonna be the question whether we can push on through there in the Dow. But if we look at the other indexes, it would suggest that it's certainly possible. Those bulls are absolutely relentless and there seems to be no price too high that they aren't willing to pay at this point. So let's take a look at the SPY, SPY, um, new record highs and continuing to push up. Um, this is a remarkable run up from that sell off as if there's just nothing at all to worry about. I don't think that's true. Um, there's more and more folks starting to question and wonder whether or not we are way overextended here and you know, warning of potential correction. But that being said, there is no stop in this trend right now. So what I would suggest is you stay with the trend, stay with the trend as long as it lasts. There's no reason to believe at this point in time, I'm um, looking at this price action, that they are ready to stop just yet. But please keep in mind after this many days to the upside, might be a good idea to think about taking some profits packing some of that money into your account and avoiding that potential if we do pull back next week. So just kind of keep an eye on it, watch that closely, but we're looking very, very good here in the SPY. One thing I will say is we're, we're incredibly extended away from our 50 day moving average. And that always gives me a little bit of a reason for cause to just be cautious in case um, that sentiment does happen to reverse. Let's take a look at the QQQ. Now the QQQ also extremely strong. We just, we're just ripping to the upside and big tech continues to surge to the upside. Now, although we kind of rested the last couple of days, we're trying to push higher this morning. We're looking for new record highs in the QQQ this morning ahead of that jobs data. So um, all, um, all engines are firing and um, looking to push this stock, uh, this index higher still. Notice that we are once again, very far away from our 50 day moving average. We are really stretching this market out. So please be careful and, and to remember to take some of those profits. Uh, don't let greed get in the way because if this does stumble, it could be a rather painful stumble um, from such a high elevation. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM also 
pushed up yesterday, but we still have a little bit of a challenge here in the chart. Notice we do have this upside trend working out for us pretty nicely, but we still have those resistance highs that we need to think about as well in IWM. Can't can't say that we won't be able to just push right on on through the way the market is acting like uh, right now. It's just all bulls all the time. Um, watch that closely. There is that possibility that we could push on through and break to new record highs in IWM as well. But keep a close eye on that resistance. Um, we have rejected this several times as well. So can't rule out that possibility. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now that VIX finally set a new closing low yesterday. Notice that we dropped below this support level and we went on through. And if I mark this right down in here, I'm gonna slide that over. This is a new closing low for the VIX. So dropping down into about 15 and a half handles, I think that is a bullish sign for the market. Certainly there seems to be no fear here, although there's more and more and more talk that a correction is on the way. But um, for now, stay with the trend, stay with the bulls, because who knows how much longer they can continue to push to the upside. Um, remarkable resilience here. Um, in that bolt. Now, part of that is just simply because the FOMC has still got their foot to the floor when it comes to money printing. And it, we may continue to melt up as a result, but watch that because as we continue to do that, we're seeing more and more signs of inflation. We're seeing more and more signs of um, pressures um on our manufacturers and things like that so watch that closely just in case um we might be getting just a little bit complacent here in the market let's take a look at our t2122 now t2122 made a nice move back up yesterday we were kind of down here languishing around we made a big surge back to the upside let's notice that in here if we can continue to find that bullish energy we certainly have upside opportunity still in that chart before we reach that bearish reversal zone and keep in mind if the bears were to somehow be an inspired that we have pretty big downside opportunity as well um, in the chart so t2122 doesn't give us any idea of direction it just tells us that we have uh, where our movement um, potentially could be and we've got movement to both both sides possible i happen to be leaning toward the bullish side um, at least for the morning. So watch that closely. Then let's take a look at our uh, T2101. And I gotta tell you guys, this just uh, makes me wanna pull my hair out. I don't quite get this, how we can continue to set record highs in the market and we have breadth just falling off the map here. Um, we're not getting that momentum that we would expect to see in in breadth and that gives me a concern that we may be reaching that point where we have stretched this market to some limits that um, could create a substantial reaction the other direction don't know when that might occur but this really continues to bother me um, that we're not getting that market breadth to appear even as we set new record highs so just watch that carefully and closely Let's take a look at our um, um, economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar is going to be kind of busy here first thing this morning. And all eyes are on these reports. First off, we got the employment situation number. Um, employment situation, the analysts are expecting um, that to come in very, very strong. Um, 702,000 jobs created. They're expecting the unemployment rate to drop to 5 percent so that would be a nice improvement here now the question is if that number oh, I really believe it'll inspire the bulls but it's also possible that that number could be viewed as the market overheating if it moves too much and um, inspire some bearish action um, we'll want to keep an eye on that, but I think the momentum that we have right now is to the upside, and I don't think we're going to see those bears really engage 
today. I would be surprised unless we really miss on that number if something is really disappointing. So um, watch that closely. And then we've got that international trade in goods. Nobody cares. Um, um, even though the deficits are just unbelievable, um, we just don't care. Um, as long as we keep printing, everybody is fine. Um, factory orders comes after, after that. Now, once we get through this morning um, information, and I would suspect factory orders probably won't get a whole lot of attention, um, watch for volumes to decline really, really sharply. I can, you can just almost imagine once we get through the reaction this morning, lots of computers will be shut off. Folks will be heading out, getting away for the three day weekend, trying to extend that, uh, that weekend. So watch that closely, but a high probability volumes will, will, uh, will drop um pretty dramatically and that will get into a very light choppy uh price action for the afternoon so if you have places to be it might be a better place to be because it it, it could be an awful lot like watching paint dry um this afternoon as um people will be just trading with institutional computers so watch that close then let's take a look at that earnings calendar today boy we've got a light one today Earnings, um, we had five companies listed on the earnings calendar today and only one, only one verified report and not exactly a notable stock. WTER will be reporting today, uh, $1.62 stock. Um, looks like it is trying to be bullish here this morning. So not exactly the, the, the bullish stock that we'd like to see um, or the the great stock that could move the market around that's not going to be happening today so let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me a quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time i post one of these videos and i just want to say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that and they click that thumbs up button they leave that comment because the engagement with the videos helps helps a lot in uh, the growth of the channel. It, it makes those algorithms um, say, hey, a lot of people are responding to this. Let's show it to more folks. So if you can do that, um, I would truly, truly appreciate it. And then also, I just want to say a huge thank you to those folks who are supporting the channel with the Buy Me A Coffee link and supporting this kind of content. You know, um, when I first started this, I thought, Everybody is so involved on social media in the hype and the drama and the prediction. Um, someone that just really comes out and investigates the technicals of the charts without trying to predict um, probably wouldn't gain any any traction. But we have gained a little bit of a uh, traction and the the channel is growing and that's all due to you and I want to say thank you so much guys and it does take a lot of effort to put out these videos every single day but um, it's so rewarding when I hear those wonderful comments from you guys um, thank you very very much let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up and remember that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact um, you should be doing your own due diligence. You should be um, focusing in uh, carefully on your own rules and your trade patterns. And you should never, ever blindly follow anyone else's trade idea. So let's take a look at a few stocks in here that I think are looking pretty good. Um, let's take a look at um, um, Plug Power. Now, Plug continues to drift um, out here sideways. Now, I like this chart. I like this little pattern that's setting up in here. It's just not quite ready to take off yet. Um, but as you can see, we're testing some resistance levels in that chart. We're holding in here pretty well. We did have a little bit of selling yesterday, but that's okay because we're still within our trend here. So watch for that opportunity that that could possibly push on through. Could be an interesting chart 
to keep an eye on. Watch that carefully. Um, another one in that sector, and I've mentioned this the last few days, um, is Ballard Power. And actually, someone, um, one of the members of Right Way Options, um, brought this to my attention. Really like the way this is setting in here and consolidating. This is a nice tight consolidation against that price resistance. So what I'd be watching for is that opportunity that that might just pop right on through and get going um, to the upside. Notice that would be a nice break of the downtrend moving through and it's holding above its 50 day moving average. So we've got that price action support in there as well, looking good. So keep a close eye on uh, Ballard Power. Another chart you might wanna keep an eye on now, it pulled back a little bit yesterday, uh, Fubo. Watch this closely. We've been pushing against some resistance in this chart and if it can hold onto this trend now i i can't say we're kind of on that on that edge where we could slip and break that trend down just a little bit but watch this closely if it can catch that breath here start pushing back up there may be some opportunity coming into that chart so keep a close eye on that you know another chart another area sector oil sector stocks have been very very strong and although they are pulling back a bit this morning um, take a look at exploration stock um, rig rig now this is a relatively inexpensive stock but i really like the way this is looking in here notice that we push through this price resistance here in the chart and looking very, very bullish overall. Notice that if we can continue this or hold up here, just, just rest, I'd be, it would, that would be great for me if this just rests up here. Just rest three or four days and then provide that next opportunity out here toward trend. So keep an eye on rig. That is just looking pretty darn good. Um, take a look at Peloton. Now Peloton continues to um, challenge this resistance level in the chart, but looking really good overall. A little more consolidation in here might be due um, in that chart, but watch that closely. That has that opportunity to push on through to the upside. Now, let me mention Box. Now, I want to tell you that um, I took my profits on Box yesterday, um, closed this out for a 30% gain. Um, I'll be keeping a close eye on this. It could extend today, but I'll be keeping a close eye on this, watching for that next little resting consolidation, that pushback in here, see if I can catch that next opportunity in that chart to the upside. So watch that one closely. Um, mentioned DKNG a couple of times yesterday to the folks in Right Way Options. Um, I think there is some opportunity that could be setting up here. Watch um, this DraftKings. We broke the downtrend here and we're trying to make these little higher lows. Now, certainly we had a little bit of volatility that showed up in the market there, but we had volatility everywhere in the market during that period of time. Notice that this we have this really, really tight consolidation forming right here. So keep a close eye on that. If that were to find that bullishness in here, we could move this trend right along, pop that up, and maybe even reach up in here into some of these areas of the chart. So keep an eye on DraftKings. Um, if you um, have been keeping an eye on... Um, Stocks like Spot, Spotify, breaking its downtrend here to the upside, just starting to show some bullishness now. Again, back to that upside, this little rest and consolidation in here looks pretty darn good. Keep a close eye on that. That may soon catch that bid and start pushing um, on through to the upside. Looks pretty good overall. You might wanna take a look at XBI. If you like biotechs, biotech um, sector really perking up and starting to come around. Notice we've broken our downtrend here. We started to make these higher lows. We're dealing with some price resistance in the chart and we had some nice bullishness coming into this yesterday. Keep a close eye on that. See if there might be an opportunity for this to push on through to the upside um, in those biotechs starting to show some strength. Now, kind of a news related stock um, might be interesting keeping an eye on this. Um, Richard Branson is, is now involved in a space race with Jeff Bezos and um, just announced that he's going to be going first, apparently. Um, keep a close eye on this. We've got a big gap happening here in space. We could be getting close to breaking out. Now, this is one volatile son of a gun, so 
be really careful here in this chart but watch it closely there may be some opportunity that shows up here in that chart so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day and i just want to take a second and um, as we head out for our holiday for the three-day weekend um you know do me a favor take a moment just take a quick moment and think about those folks and all the sacrifices that they made to those folks that came before us sacrifices they made to ensure our freedom and protect our freedom and also take a moment to think about all of those folks that are standing in harm's way this weekend while we're celebrating shooting off fireworks eating barbecue all of those kind of things those folks that are standing on the line to protect those freedoms today um, we owe those folks a great deal of gratitude and when we celebrate our independence day we have lots of problems in this country there's no doubt about it but in the end of the day we're all americans and we're all on the same team and um, we live in the greatest country on this planet so thank you um, to all of those folks that um, work so hard to protect those freedoms everyone take care have an awesome awesome three-day weekend we'll see you back here bright and early tuesday morning i wish you all of the best